Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about horizontal scaling in Azure Container Apps. As the load increases, there will be multiple instances of your app automatically created. And these instances that are getting created automatically, these are known as replicas. The name should be familiar to you if you have worked with other container orchestrators. Azure Container Apps, it's a fully managed service, so you don't directly work with virtual machines or nodes, as you might call in Kubernetes. Here, the high-level object that you work with is containers. And when you first create the container app, the scale rule is set to zero. What that means is that you won't be charged unless your containers are running. When it comes to scaling, there are three types of scaling rules. We have HTTP traffic-based scaling and event-driven scaling and CPU and memory-based scaling. Based on the workload of your application, you can pick the type of scaling that you want. The focus of this video is understanding how HTTP traffic-based scaling works. When it comes to HTTP traffic-based scale-out, there are a few things that you should understand. Number one is the scaling is based on number of concurrent requests that the instance receives. As you can see here, we can set the minimum number of replicas and the maximum number of replicas to scale out too. Now, if you look at the rules section of this ARM template, we have the number of concurrent requests that this application should receive per instance to scale out. Now, let's see how this scaling out works with a practical example. As you can see here, in my resource group, Content Apps Demo, we have a application deployed that has two container apps, a front end and a back end. This is a simple ASP.NET to do application that we have deployed in my last video. If you don't know how to deploy an application to Azure Container Apps, please go ahead and watch that video before watching this video. Now, if I go into to do front end application and let me click on this URL as well. As you can see, the app works. Now, if I go back to our container app and go into scale, as you can see here, there are no scaling rules defined for this revision. And you're going to learn more about revisions in one of my coming videos. Now, I'm going to edit and deploy this revision. As you can see, the revision contains two things. It contains the container and the scaling rules. And here we have the container image. And I'm going into scale. As you can see here, we can set the minimum and maximum number of replicas in this section. You can update this with the ARM template version of this application as well. But for this video, I'm gonna go with the UI. We can scale down to zero. We can scale up into 10 instances. Now I'm gonna set the max instance count to five instance. And then I'm gonna click add scale rule. And here, as you can see, we can provide a rule name. I'm going to go with HTTP rule. And then we have an option to select the type of a scaling. As I said earlier, there are three types of scaling. The focus of this video is learning about HTTP based scaling. Now I'm going to go with HTTP scaling and I'm going to add 20 concurrent requests here. And then I'm going to add the scale rule. Now let me create this rule as well. As you can see here, now it's deploying a new revision of my container app. All right. Now we have a few ways to see the number of instances that are currently running in application. If I go into console, as you can see here, we can connect to the replicas of my application and interact with it. I'm not going to interact with my container now, but if I look here, we have the replica and we have one replicas and one container inside of this container app. Now, if we go into log stream, this will show the log stream of the selected replica here. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to simulate a load on this container app and let's see how this changes. Here I have a Apache Jmeter load testing tool. Now, let me add a thread group, all right. Then I'm gonna add an HTTP request. And then finally, I'm gonna add a view results tree listener to see how my load test is going. Now I'm going into the HTTP request and then I'm gonna add this URL here. 
in the host section. I'm going to get rid of the HTTPS and put it here. And then I'm going to the thread group. And here we can specify the number of users or number of threads that should be concurrently accessing our web application. Now for this, let me add something like 100 users here. Now let's, let's add a bigger number. Let's add 400. Now the ramp up period is the time that it takes for Jmeter to create this number of threads. Now let's go into resource tree and I'm going to run this test. We need to save this before running the test. Let me do that now. All right. I'm seeing an error here. Let's go back into the HTTP request and as you can see, I have added this backslash. Let me get rid of that and try again. As you can see, the load test is running and we are seeing the responses as well. Now, if we go into Azure portal, click refresh and go into replicas, as you can see, we now have five replicas and this is the end of this video in this video i wanted to show you how http based scale out works in azure container apps if you have further questions or comments please let me know down below or any suggestions as well please let me know and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today i will see you with a video like this soon thanks for watching